Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers card. So this is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. And this is an energy of being at a crossroads. Very important decisions are needing to be made regarding a very strong, intense, uh, powerful connection. This Lovers energy is really depicting a very strong pull towards um, two souls. I am seeing um, a very intense connection, one that is um, very difficult to avoid. So I'm seeing um, irresistible um, energy here. Um, both people feel this connection strongly. It is mutually felt. And I do see that um, there is something about the connection that is needing to be grounded more in reality. And some sort of important decisions need to be made in order for this connection to be solidified going forward. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Cancer. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Chariot. So this is your energy, Cancer. You could be dealing with another Cancer. Next, we have the Two of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I do see here that this connection will be um, successful with this Chariot Energy showing up here. This is a connection that really has the potential to go the distance, um, to um, overcome obstacles, um, you know, because I do see that there have been some challenges when it comes to this connection. There could even be actual distance that is an obstacle for this connection, but there is a sense with the chariot showing up here that you guys will overcome these things. Um, the two of wands, there is a future for this connection. I do see, um, you know, someone here is thinking very hard about planning, making plans for the future of this connection and is thinking long term. Term, there is a sense of them wanting to, you know, take control of the situation and make this work, make this happen, um, wanting to do whatever it takes to make this happen. And with the Nine of Pentacles showing up here, I do see that there will be a grounding for this connection. It, there is the stabilizing energy about it. Um, so there is success. There is victory here. And I do see planning with the Two of Wands and also with the lovers that is being at a crossroads, having to make important decisions about the connection. And um, I do see both of you guys getting on the same page when it comes to this. There is a sense of you guys um, seeing eye to eye and agreeing on um, plans for the future of this connection and where this connection is going. Um, there is a sense of you guys getting on the same page in regards to that. Okay, so with the Nine of Pentacles, I also do see that as self-sufficiency, stability. Um, what is nice about it is that this is a connection that, um, you know, with the people showing up as being um, independent, emotionally independent, that this is a connection that won't have... Um, you know, any codependency. I'm seeing a healthy connection here with the lovers and that nine of pentacles showing up. So both of you guys are showing up as assets for this connection. And there is a lot of um, potential for victory for here, for this, um, card, this um, couple. So let's clarify these cards, Cancer.
guess at the bottom of the deck we have the star card so this is aquarius energy you could be dealing with an aquarius and this is an energy of manifesting hopefulness not losing faith believing in something um, being very close to achieving a goal um, or getting a, some sort of wish fulfillment and i do see that for this energy for these lovers there have been some obstacles but this um star card showing up is really reminding you to stay hopeful to not lose your faith um, because um, things are about to get very much better for this connection there are ob obstacles that are about to get removed and um, this is really reminding you that your wish is about to get granted and that you shouldn't lose um, hope in this so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so the first card we have here is the king of wands so this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy next we have the five of swords in the reverse this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And finally, we have the seven of cups, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Okay, so I do see here with this king of wands that this person who you are um, in connection with, they feel this connection as intensely, but I do also see them... Um, they are showing up as being very much in their masculine. This is someone who wants to make things happen. This is someone who wants to take the initiative, someone who wants to um, pursue. I do see this person is very determined to have this connection. Um, with this five of swords showing up in the reverse, I do see that there have been obstacles, difficulties that have really caused a bit of a strain on the connection but with the five of um, swords being in the reverse this is healing from that this is um, repairing the relationship this is overcoming those challenges and difficulties this is making up energy so i do see there is a, something that just brings you guys together pulls you back together um, and i do see you having the communication skills and tools to overcome um, these tough times with this five of swords energy um there is a sense of this um, connection having the potential to to deal with um, difficulties and still come back stronger uh, this person in particular is showing up as very determined to make things work with you um, this person is um, showing up as confidence when it comes to this connection they are confident in the um their ability to have this connection with you and their ability to overcome the challenges that um, you know may accompany the connection and I do see that the, the, some of the obstacles could be um, you know disagreements by the lovers um, or it could even be um, distance causing a strain on the connection as well but I do see these obstacles are about to be removed with the five of swords being in the reverse and the star card showing up here so there is very um hopeful energy around here there is a sense of you know having to keep the faith and um not giving up on the dream that um you know initially started this connection um with the lover's card that is a connection that is you know it's almost like it's on a soul level it's 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 not very in the ground it's very you know um it's intuitively felt and um it's it's almost magical it's whimsical and i, I do see with the seven of cups also showing up here that there is a need to you know really um to also introduce practicality to this connection um so i do see that there will be that being achieved because we do have this nine of pentacles there will be some sort of stability and practical energy being introduced here um because i do see that that may have also been um you know one of the obstacles around this connection so there is a sense here that um this connection this couple is about to overcome some major obstacles and difficulties when it comes to this um, being together and having a flourishing connection okay so cancer i am going to pull out an oracle card for you Okay, so the card says, nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Okay, so I do see that there is a need to, you know, really solidify this connection. It's currently 
showing up as um, you know still almost like a wish it's still there is something whimsical dreamlike about it but I do see this person that you're dealing is determined to make this um, into a reality to, to solidify this connection to make this work to make this happen and with the star card here I do see that this manifestation is coming to fruition this connection will be grounded there are plans in the making that will be achieved and difficulties that are really keeping you guys from having this um, connection solidified or having this connection in the 3d those obstacles i am seeing them being removed very soon with the star card showing up here and the chariot okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you cancer Okay, so the card says iris rainbows and messages when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars okay so there is just this message here about needing to not give up faith um to not give up hope in this um situation um there is also something about this connection that is almost um, it can have a little bit of a too good to be true type of energy with that seven of cups and that star card but with the star card showing up there, there this is something that will um, you will be getting wish fulfillment here and you are being advised to not lose hope um, you can expect miracles with the star card so I do see that this is a connection that is really um, going to overcome some re major difficulties okay so that's what I'm seeing for you cancer I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.